Hey guys, in this section we're going to talk about and set up shipping. Uh, shipping is, is a very important aspect of any e-commerce site, um, unless of course you're selling downloadable products only, but if you're actually shipping products out, then it's very important and you should figure out which service or carrier you're going to use as far as FedEx or UPS or, or US Mail. Um, and really get all their rates um, and really look into it but we're just going to set up a general carrier or maybe a couple carriers um, in shipping zones so the first thing I want to do is go to localization and go to countries and you can see that all the countries aside from the United States are disabled and that's because we chose the United States when we installed PrestaShop and the rest of the world is disabled by default. So what we want to do is ship within North America and within Europe and the UK. So I'm going to go to the United Kingdom and I'm going to enable that as well. Now next thing we have to do is set up a carrier so if we want to go to shipping carriers and by default you get these two carriers one is named after your website which is lots of gadgets and this is the in-store carrier this is if this is the handling charge that you would want to charge if someone came into the store um, and we don't have a physical store so we don't want that by default it's the it's the default um, carrier so we can't disable it yet um, the next one that they give us is my carrier which is just a sample um, it says delivery next day it's just a sample carrier I'm not going to use that either what I'm going to do is create a new one so I want to go to add new and as far as company you could put UPS FedEx today or whatever whatever you want I'm just going to put standard all right, and we could choose a logo if we had one. Uh, transit time, I'm gonna put five to seven days. And you can put anything you want here. It's just the text that the customer sees. This, uh, the speed grade is what does matter. You wanna put a number zero to nine, and depending on the fastest shipping you would have towards the nine, the slowest is at the zero. Uh, I'm just gonna put a five. Uh, if we wanted to create, say, a two to three day shipping, then we would choose a number higher than five for that because that would be faster than the standard. All right, so the URL. The URL is very important uh, if you want to give your customers tracking. And each service, whether it's FedEx, UPS, USPS, they all have a certain URL structure for tracking and you need to find that out uh, if you're using you whatever you're using you need to find the tracking URL and I actually have a link one second in each chapter you have some um, program files and in this one chapter 3 shipping we have this URL uh, it's to verysimple.com and it's a it's a really good page that has all the URLs mapped out so we have for UPS FedEx USPS DHL uh, these are all the, stru the URL structures for tracking uh, just for the sake of the tutorial let's just choose um, UPS so I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to place it here. But if you look underneath, it says to type an at symbol where the tracking number should appear. So we're going to get rid of this string of X's and just put the at sign there. And that'll, that'll be the placeholder for the tracking number. All right, so next is zones. You want to select which zones this shipping, this carrier should should. Um, work with. We're going to choose North America and Europe. Group access, you could um, restrict this carrier to a certain group. 
uh, whether it's guest, visitor, customer, or a, a custom group that you created. Um, apply shipping costs, yes. Tax, we're going to add in tax. Um, I'm in Massachusetts, so I'm going to choose the Massachusetts rate of 6.25. Um, shipping and handling. Billing, I'm going to do, we can either do by total price or total weight. I'm going to do by total weight, which is what most systems uh, do. Uh, out of range behavior. Uh, what this means is if, say we have a, um, a carrier or a um, a weight range of zero to 200 pounds. This is what you want to do if, say, the customer ordered something that was 202 pounds, which is over the 200 pound. You can either disable the carrier totally, or you can just apply the cost of the highest defined range, which in that case would be 200. So we're going to keep that selected. And you can actually choose um, height, re height and width restrictions as well. So if something uh, was greater than if we have a hundred here and something's greater than a hundred uh, w this carrier wouldn't be used but we're just going to keep that blank so everything looks good so I'm going to save so now we have our carrier our standard carrier and I want to make that the default click save and actually we have sort by price yeah that's fine all right, so we have our standard carrier. I'm actually going to disable the other two. And you just do that by clicking on the check mark. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we have to define some weight ranges. And for this particular site, what I want to do is I want to do a certain price for anything that weighs from 0 to 5 pounds. Uh, and then from six to a hundred pounds. All right, so I'm going to add those two ranges, and you want to you want to keep the standard carrier selected, and we're going to do from let's say 0 0.1 to five pounds, and then add new. We want to do um, six to a hundred pounds and we'll just say that a hundred pounds is the maximum um, as far as the products we carry so we have these two ranges now we need to go to shipping and here is where you want to put your handling charges um, this could be what you pay your employees or patch um, just manual labor costs uh, I'm just gonna keep it at the default of two dollars um, you can also define free shipping if you want, uh, depending on if you're using pound weight or or um, price. We're going to keep it at weight, and here is where you'll define the amount for each weight range. So we have 0 0.1 to 5 pounds. I'm going to add a $10 shipping on that, and 6 pounds to 100 pounds, I'm going to add a $25 shipping. And you can even specify which country has which rate. Um, and I guess I will do that. I guess Europe can have a $12 shipping and for one to for zero to five, and then have a 20, we'll say a $28 um, price for six to 100 pounds. So that looks good. So let's save that. It's been saved. So that looks good. Um, now what I want to do is actually test it out. So we want to go to our front end and let me clear out the cart. Alright, so our cart's empty. Now let's say one thing that I do want to point out is that in our catalog products let's say the iPod shuffle um, you want to specify the weight under shipping and we don't have any weight set for this so I'm actually gonna go back and change that range that 0 0.1 to 5 I'm gonna change it to 0, 0.0 
just in case products don't have a weight. Um, but for this, let's just say this is uh, 0 0.5 for the iPod Shuffle. Zero point five, and you can add additional shipping for single products as well. So let's just go back to the weight range, and I want to change this to zero. All right, so let's go back to the front end, refresh in iPod Shuffle. Let's add that. It's 6605. I'm going to add it to my cart. And if I go up, you'll see 6605 and then shipping is $12 because the weight is in between 0 and 5. So uh, that's really it for shipping. Very easy. Um, I'm ready to check out as long as my payment methods and everything is set up, uh, it should be all set. So that's how you handle shipping in PrestaShop.